Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about the BlockFi interest account. Now, if you've been looking for a way to earn interest on your savings, you know that a traditional bank, or now even online savings accounts, they're barely giving you much to work with as far as getting a yield from your savings. But here's an alternative option that I found which will actually give you a great interest rate on your savings or on your holdings. And actually with a BlockFi account, you'll get returns similar to the stock market or at least the historical average of the stock market, which is about six to 8% depending on who you ask or how you calculate it. Now BlockFi is a FinTech company which focuses on digital currencies. So think cryptocurrencies. And so if you were to hold cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum, Litecoin, or even stable coins like GUSD and USDT, which I'll go into further in this video, then you can earn interest rates up to as high as 8.6%. Yes, that's right. 8.6% on what is essentially could be a savings account or something very similar to the stock market where you're holding a stock or in this case a cryptocurrency and while that cryptocurrency can fluctuate in its value you can also earn interest because you're holding that stock so you can think of it as kind of like getting a dividend from holding a stock or you can think of it as just like a normal savings account if you're holding one of the stable coins and so as you can see from this graphic depending on which specific cryptocurrency or which specific digital currency that you're holding, you can get anywhere from a low point of 3% interest per year up to as high as 8.6% depending on which specific digital currency you hold and in the case of Bitcoin, how many Bitcoins you actually hold in your account. And so with Bitcoin, the more coins that you have, the less interest that you're going to earn from the number of Bitcoins that you have. And I believe in the past it did have a higher threshold as far as how many Bitcoins you can hold. But with the drastic increase in the value of Bitcoin, especially over the past year, year and a half. And while these are the only cryptocurrencies that you can currently receive interest rate on or re receive an interest yield on those specific cryptocurrencies, this list may change in the future. So there could be other cryptocurrencies that are added to BlockFi's website that you can earn interest on in the future. So make sure if you do decide to open a BlockFi account that you keep an eye on the specific cryptocurrencies that you can earn interest on. Now, if you were to hold cryptocurrencies or digital currencies in your BlockFi account, you can actually choose what you receive back in your interest. And so if you were holding Bitcoin, the default setting in BlockFi is that if you're holding Bitcoin, then you will receive Bitcoin as your interest payment. And if you're holding Ethereum, then you'll receive Ethereum and so on and so forth. However, you can actually change in the settings that no matter what cryptocurrency you hold, that you can choose one specific cryptocurrency or digital currency that you receive your interest payments in. So for instance, if you wanted to hold one of the stable coins, because maybe you don't want to hold Bitcoin in your BlockFi account, or maybe you don't want to be an owner of Bitcoin or Ethereum, if you wanted to just hold GUSD or USDT, for example, these are coins which try to mimic the value of the actual US dollar. And so you don't have that fluctuation in value on a day to day or even an hour to hour basis. And so it's just like having a savings account with your US dollar in a traditional bank account or an online savings account. However, for your interest payments, if you choose to, you can actually receive Bitcoin or Ethereum or another cryptocurrency as your payment for your interest payments every month. And just like a traditional savings account or an online savings account, at the end of each month, based on the average balance of your account throughout that month, you will receive an interest payment at the end of that month. And so even if you're currently not an owner or a person who is bought into digital currencies, this is a great way to get started where you can actually buy a stable coin and then receive Bitcoin or Ethereum or maybe another cryptocurrency that you may be interested in. You can receive that as your interest payments instead of directly buying one of the more volatile cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. So with interest rates as low as they are as far as traditional banks and online banks that they follow the Fed funds rate, which is created by the Federal Reserve. And so many of the banks, because they're following that Fed funds rate, the Fed funds rate is extremely low at the moment. It's the lowest that it's been in decades. 
And so if you're holding your cash in a typical savings account, you're really not getting much interest. And actually a couple of months ago, I did a review of what I consider the top five savings accounts. And with that specific video, I reviewed savings accounts that aren't your typical online bank or your typical brick and mortar bank, but still gave you up to 3% interest. Now with these digital currencies, you can get anywhere from a low point of 3% up to 8.6%. So you can see how holding your savings in this specific type of an account would actually be better for you even if you're going for one of the stable coins where you're getting the higher interest rate or if you're going to buy one of the more volatile cryptocurrencies where you would get more stock type movements or very volatile stock but you're getting instead of those dividend payments from a stock that may pay dividends you would be able to get interest payments by holding a cryptocurrency like bitcoin but one of the other things that you really have to think about and why you may consider this as an option is that when you're holding your us dollar just like any other asset there is actual inflation that you have to worry about and typical inflation in america is about two to three percent per year uh, some people would argue that it's much higher now especially with the money supply that has been increasing over the course of 2020 and going into 2021 and so someone like uh, michael saylor who is the ceo of the company microstrategy actually believes that the inflation rate is actually closer to 25% due to specific activities over the past year. And so whether or not you're holding cash or you're holding stocks or you're now holding digital currencies, everyone has to think about the effect of inflation and the effect that all of these assets have on each other to actually allow your money to grow or even if you're you know you're not interested in digital currencies this is still something you have to think about and getting a 0.50 percent or at some of the bigger banks you're not even getting that much of an interest rate on your savings so this is something that you may want to consider in order to earn money on the savings or at least on a portion of your savings if you're a little bit more risk averse and you don't want to and you don't want to put all of your money in an account like BlockFi or maybe others out there just like BlockFi. And so in addition to the interest account that you can get with BlockFi, you can actually trade cryptocurrencies on the exchange and there are additional cryptocurrencies that you can trade that aren't actually available in the BlockFi interest account. But not only can you trade cryptocurrencies, you can actually borrow against your holdings as well. And so if you have a lot of holdings and any particular cryptocurrency that is allowed to borrow on BlockFi, then instead of selling your cryptocurrencies in order to get cash that you may need or want to buy a home or, or whatever you would normally get a loan for, if you have a lot of cryptocurrency holdings and you want to be able to use some of that value without actually selling your cryptocurrencies, then you can use your BlockFi account as well to borrow against those assets. And you can get interest rates as low as 4.5% with your BlockFi account. And so while I won't go into much detail about the actual trading account or the option to borrow against your cryptocurrencies, I did want to mention that that is an option when you open a BlockFi account, just to put that on your radar. And so if you're interested in opening a BlockFi account, I'll have a referral link provided below in the description, as well as in the top comment in the comment section. So let us know in the comment section as well if you've ever heard of BlockFi. And if you haven't, are you now interested in opening a BlockFi account? just as an additional way or an alternate way for you to earn interest on the cash that you may be holding in a traditional bank or in an online savings account. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video just like this. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.